What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys. But anyway, I didn't have anything uploaded last weekend just because there was kind of a lot going on between like, I guess co-op and uh, I guess I, uh, work and more or less stuff like that. Um, cause I was, I worked last weekend and I'm also working this weekend. I work today and tomorrow and they're both 4.30 to closing. So I'm pretty much two hours, actually less than two hours. I am off to work and then I'll probably get you guys later tonight when I come back, but I'll be recording up until then. And anyway... Uh, honestly, if you guys haven't seen the past, the previous two videos, um, go watch them. There was a Best Kind Stories and a Way Life Goes. And there will probably be another Way Life Goes in about two weeks. And that will be the last one for season one. So, if you guys have enjoyed uh, Way Life Goes, comment down below because I'm going probably going to make a season two. And uh, comment any suggestions that you guys have for season two. And anyway, like the pool has been closed for a while now. So I don't know if I have recorded this, but the pool is closed. And I know there was like a, there was a skit because on my channel it just shows two vlogs. I don't know what happened to it, I didn't delete it, it's not there anymore because it went skip vlog, skip vlog, and then now it's just skip vlog and vlog, so th there's a supposed to be a skip in between those two vlogs, but there isn't, so I don't know what happened to it, but anyway, I'm back, and after a week, it was a really tiring week because there was a lot going on, and also this week was kind of tiring, but... It is really fun at Rogers and what I've been doing, and uh, so we were on uh, October 21st, we did the election night show from 7 till 11 p.m., which was a lot of fun, and then on October 24th, which was Thursday, and the 21st was Monday, so we, on Thursday, we did the Georgina Business Excellent Awards, and we were uh, at 4 till 10 so and then the next one is on November 16th which is the Keswick Santa Claus parade so that should be fun as well which is, that is 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. so that should be interesting and then November 24th uh, we have Georgina Cares auction like uh, an auction which is 11 a or 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. which is that's crazy almost 12 hours but and then on the 7th of December we have Sutton Santa Claus Parade and we have it from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. and then on December 8th we have the Georgina All-Star Christmas concert from 3 p.m. till 10 p.m. so there was a lot going on and that is added on to the regular co-op days that we have during the week and so we were off on Friday, and we were we had a PA day on Monday, and but I was there Monday night, and then Tuesday morning I the whole Tuesday I had a um, like a photography trip so I wasn't there, but anyway it was a really fun week at co-op. But I've just been watching Murdoch right now, so. Honestly, I'm just probably gonna go back to that. So it is now just getting to about the time where I am off to work, but pretty much I brought, so if you guys, I think I've done a video on this before, but if you guys do not know what this is, is it's called a Kandama. And recently I actually brought it to school and it's become kind of a popular thing at school, but like this is what you gotta kind of do. So like, let me just try and get this in frame. But um, so you gotta try and like land it 
on like there and like there and then uh, this is kind of hard to do with one hand but um, you gotta try and like see like that and then like there and my friend can spin it and get it onto here which is kind of crazy but honestly I don't know how he does it but like so you pretty much just gotta flip it onto like there and then like just I don't know I can it's a lot easier to do with uh, both hands and focusing without a camera but um, it's kind of like the Kandama challenge but I'm pretty sure I've done a video on this before but it is it is actually quite fun and uh, I don't know I just kind of bring it to school just to do something I guess at lunch or in the hallways and stuff but um I don't know it's really fun and I've honestly I've had this thing for like five years but like it's kind of become a thing again so I don't know I just thought I'd talk about it cause like it's a lot of fun but um anyway with that being said I'm about to head out to work it is 4.06, I start work at 4.30, but it takes about like 10 minutes to get over, and then I have to get into my work uniform, and I pretty much punch in like 5 minutes before, just because that's like fair time, I'd say, to punch in and to be there, but anyway, I'm about to go over to work, so I'll probably see you guys 6 hours later, so like, 10, 30, 11. I guess I'll catch you guys then. Oh, it is now currently later. It is currently 11.53 and I got back about an hour ago. But pretty much in the time that I missed at work, well, I was at work for uh, six hours, I guess. Yeah, six hours. And I was by myself tonight on dish, and uh, it was fairly well, and I got a break at 7.30, so I was where I worked three, three hours before I, uh, I got a break, and, uh, and I, I had a, um, a hamburger with fries for dinner. And it was really good, and so, uh, and I didn't have to pay for it because I was the only one in Dish, so they gave it to me for free. And, uh, the Penguins won 3 nothing. and, um, if I bring up NHL, the NHL, right now, and let's just see, so, the Penguins won, and... Yeah, so the Penguins won three nothing. Calgary won or Calgary's winning. Oh, that's the Heritage Classic. And Carolina won four nothing. Boston won three nothing. Montreal won five to two. Uh Nashville won three to two in final overtime. Philadelphia Beat Columbus seven to four. Minnesota beat LA five to one, and Anaheim beat Colorado. So if we go in the standings now, if you go to league, Buffalo is first uh, with 19 points, and Washington is second with 19 points. Colorado is third, 17. Edmonton is tied with 17. Then Boston with 16, Nashville with 15, Carolina with 15, New York with 14, Anaheim with 14, Pittsburgh with 14, Vegas with 14, Toronto with 14, Arizona with 13, Vancouver, St. Louis, and Calgary with 13, Tampa, Florida, Montreal, Columbus with 12, Philly has 11, Winnipeg has 10, San Jose and Dallas have 9, Minnesota and LA have 8, New York has 7, 
And New Jersey, Chicago, and Detroit have six points. And Ottawa is in last with five points. Ottawa has lost seven games, won two games, and went to overtime and lost for one game. And Detroit is on a seven-game losing streak. Oh, my. They are 3-8-0. And... and the Islanders are on a six game winning streak. And uh, Pittsburgh won tonight, so now they're 4 3 and 0 at home. And they are 3 2 and 0 oh away. And Pittsburgh has yet to go to overtime with a game, which is not always the greatest, but they're on a one game winning streak now from a three game losing streak. And uh, the Leafs are 6 5 and 2, and I don't know, their record's not as good as it was last year. They're, I don't think they're in a playoff spot right now. Oh no, they are, they're back in a playoff spot. Um, but uh, Pittsburgh, mm, that's rough. Wait, wild card. No, Pittsburgh isn't a wild card. They're. Oh, they have two more games over New York and one game over Carolina. So they. Let's see this Saturday. Oh, Sunday. Uh, Monday, I guess. They play. In, nope, Tuesday. Let's see, yeah, Tuesday, Flyers versus Penguins, which is always kind of a bloodbath, but anyway, it kind of, it's died down in the recent years, but it was, um, like a fair game tonight, I didn't get to watch it because I was at work, but, um, pretty much, uh, Brian Rust was back in the lineup, so is Nick Bukestad, which is good, that means the lineup is kind of, Filling itself out now, and uh, and uh, Gochenyuk is now on the ice, and uh, which is good. And so full team practice this afternoon in Dallas, and that means Malkin might be returning soon, and see Rust return tonight. So Bukestad and Rust returned. And uh, the Penguins actually made a trade earlier, and uh, Eric Gabranson was traded to Anaheim, and Pittsburgh got Andreas Martinson, and uh, so, I mean, I, I don't know what to say, but I guess Gabranson is getting older, and um, uh, Zach Trotman, he's off injured reserve, but he's down to Wilkes-Barre for, like, uh, I guess, training, or more like of a training stint, um, so he's assigned to Wilkes-Barre now, so, I, th I think Jack Johnson's gonna go as well, and then, uh, Zach Trotman will be filling in his spot, and, uh, all you need now is Malkin and uh, and and uh, Galchenyuk to be in the lineup now, which that means the lineup. Uh, that means maybe I don't even know who will be sent down, but it'll be a full lineup then. And it was a fair game, so. It, Murray got a shutout as well, which is good. But, um, anyway, it is like 12 o'clock, so I don't know what else I'll be doing, but I will catch you guys then. So, it does look like that is going to have to end off today's video. So, I would basically like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have a question on the other video, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and... Smash that like button. Smash. See, Savage Wines. Peace out. I.
We'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.